For a more business-like image, let our expert city show you the best way to do so along with great tips and facts on how you can achieve this corporate look. We always encourage applying ampules all over the face first before putting on any makeup. It acts as a moisturizer replacement and helps to keep your makeup long-lasting. Add a few drops of ampules onto a clean cotton wool and spread evenly around the face. If you like, you can apply on your neck. Once the ampules have absorbed into the skin, apply makeup base by blending it gently starting from the forehead, nose area, under the eye and chin area. When the makeup base is set, we will use a stick foundation. Use a foundation sponge, add a bit of water to it before taking the foundation. This helps to blend the foundation better because stick foundation is very thick. Blending with water helps to balance and control the use of thick foundation. In Adeline's case, her dark circles are pretty obvious, so we will focus more on this area first. It is important when working on the eye area. You have to dab it slowly because our eye areas are very sensitive and avoid wiping across, otherwise you will create fine lines. Next, apply the foundation to the forehead, slowly blending it to the nose area and to the chin. Once the foundation is set, apply loose powder using a loose powder sponge. Gently dab it around the eye area and the rest of the face. If you'd like to know whether you have added enough powder, place your fingers by your cheek. If it doesn't feel sticky, that means it is sufficient. Ensure that the loose powder is evenly applied, otherwise you might find it hard to blend your blusher. Once the loose powder is ready, take a powder brush and gently sweep off all the excess powder. Face contouring will be ideal, especially for Adeline, who has a chubby face. We want to create an illusion where Adeline's face will look sharper. Therefore, we will focus more on her cheeks. Take a dark brown stick foundation and stroke it along the cheekbone. Use a foundation sponge added with a little bit of water and gently blend it until the harsh line is not so visible. You can also focus on the jawline and the neck area by blending it in a downward motion with the foundation sponge. Now, we will work on giving Adeline a nice sharp nose bridge. Using a two-way kick foundation with an eyeshadow brush, follow the shape of the nose bridge and shade it slowly. Remember, when doing face contouring, you have to blend it evenly to avoid visible harsh lines. Now, we will work on the eyebrows. Using a brown eyebrow pencil, lightly follow the shape of the brow. Once the eyebrow is drawn, we will mix it with a darker shade using a black eyebrow pencil. Lightly follow the shape of the brow. Mixing it with black color helps to match the color of her eyebrows to her hair. Here's a useful tip before you add eyeshadows. Make it a habit to put loose powder underneath the eyes because there will be excess eyeshadow that will tend to fall onto this area. When that happens, it is as easy as sweeping off the loose powder and it will not make a mess under the eyes. Before you begin adding colors, apply eye base around the eyes evenly. This will allow the colors to last longer on the eyes. Start with a base color from the top corner of the eye, nearest to the end of the eyebrow. Select a nice brown eye shadow. Using your fingertip can be easier to blend. Always start from the middle. It will be easier to spread it out evenly. After applying the eyeshadows, use a black pencil eyeliner to fill the inner edge of the eyelid. After that, use a waterproof liquid eyeliner. Draw a thin straight line across the upper eyelid. Now, use an eyelash curler to curl the lashes. 
Slowly place the eyelash curler towards the tip of the lash. Gently press the curler. If you like the lashes to curl more, you can repeat this routine twice before curling the lashes closer to the eyelid. When you are happy with the curls, add black mascara, starting from the tip of the lashes. Then slowly stroke the entire lash until the lash is fully covered with mascara. In the event that your lashes get stuck together, use a mascara brush to separate them. Now, we will add a little bit of colors on the lower eyelid. Using the same eye base color, mix it with a little bit of black and gently shade across. To enhance the eyes, use black mascara and slowly apply on the lashes on the lower eyelid. Once you are done, gently sweep off all the excess powder under the eyes. Now, use a blusher brush, select a brownish color, gently stroke just above your cheek. This will give the cheeks a slimmer look. Remember to blend it evenly to avoid a visible harsh line. Finally, use a lipstick brush. Select a nice color, lightly apply on the lips. When applying, always stretch your lip by giving a nice smile. This will make it easier for you to apply the lipstick. Lastly, add a bit of lip gloss starting from the middle and slowly spreading out to the rest of the lip. City for my fat pocket. Thank you for watching.